Hey everybody, Travis here from Travis.media. Today we're going to be looking at how to style Gravity Forms forms. All right, Gravity Forms is hands down the best form plugin for WordPress. It is super powerful. It has tons of integrations and is used by tons of people. It's uh, well tested and I just recommend it over anything else. At the same time, Gravity Forms can be very difficult to style. All right, if you up front, if you go and try to style it and haven't used it a lot, it's very hard to style. And if you don't style it out of the box, it's kind of ugly. So you got to know how to style Gravity Forms if you're going to use them. And in this video today, I want uh, I want to present four concepts that if you understand these four concepts, you'll be able to style any Gravity Forms form with ease. All right four concepts and this is also a blog post I created I just published it uh, a day ago and I wanted to do a, a video um, for the people that would prefer videos over posts but you can also reference the post I'll put the link down below so my form today is a form called testing let's take a look at it testing there's uh, testing there is a name field and an email field and then a submit button very simple form but we're going to be looking at this form and we're going to be styling this one but up front <clears throat> we need to discuss one thing and that is concept number one and you may be like duh Travis that's simple but I just have to say it because it's very important before we get into the meat of things concept number one is to know your form ID now if you click if you go over here to forms and click on forms you will get a list of all of your forms in the second column you'll see the ID column. So you want to scroll down to the form you want to style. In my case, I want to style testing. And I can look over here and I see that it has an ID of 13. I want to write that down. That is very important. Find your form that you want to style. Get the ID, write it down. All right. Concept two is know the gravity forms layout. So let's look at our, look at our form again. We have a form title. We have two form fields and a submit button. Now, on, on my blog post, I've created a diagram that explains the basic layout of Gravity Forms forms. Is that right? Gravity Forms forms? Or is it just Gravity Forms? Who knows? Anyway, uh, this diagram, I just looked and I, I thought I'd put a link for it to be downloaded, but I didn't. But I will include that link in the blog post for you to download this diagram to use it for reference on any time you're styling your forms. All right, so let, let's go over this form. This form reflects my testing form. So let me explain this a little bit. So first thing is you have an ID around the entire form, a wrapper uh, around the entire form with an ID of G form wrapper 13. There's that ID. So your entire form has a wrapper with an ID G form wrapper 13. All right. Um, and inside of that, there's a form element. So there's your basic form setup. There's your form tag. And there's also an ID of G form 13. Inside your form, there are three main sections. There's G form heading, class, G form body, and G form footer, all classes. These are your main three headings. In G form heading, you're going to have your title and your description. In my example, I just have a title. I didn't, I didn't enter a description. So there's my title. So in G-Form heading class, you're going to have your title and description. The next section is the G-Form body. This is going to be where all of your fields are at. This will include my name and my email. This is the body of my form. Now the G-Form body has an unordered list, and the list items are your fields. So wrapping the list items is the unordered list tag with an ID of G-Form Fields 13. My list items are an ID of Field 13-1 or Field 13-2. I don't know why I have 13-1 twice. It's not right. But it would be 13-2, 13-3. And then it would have a label with the class of G-Field label and some kind of uh, class G-Input container within, that contains an input. Something like that, depending on your form. The main thing to get from this is in the body, you have your form fields. The next section is the G form footer. The G form footer section is going to have your submit button or whatever button you put there. You have an input tag. You have an ID of G form submit button 13, and then a class G form button and then button class. 
So that's the basic structure. Now, again, go to this blog post and download that diagram, print it out, and have it there when you style your gravity forms. But um, that should help you a lot. Now, in order to show this to you practically, I want to open up this form, and I want to open up my developer tools down here and take a look. Make this a little bigger. Go to my elements. All right. All right, so check this out. Look down here. <clears throat> I have my G form wrapper. So look at this. This whole thing is wrapped in this ID G form wrapper 13. If I open that up, I have my form element with an ID G form 13. And I have three sections G form heading, G form body, and G form footer. Just like the diagram I showed you. Now let's try to style this. All right, so let's start with something like this. Let's go to our form element, which has an ID of G form 13. And let's make it a, a, certain, a certain background color. So I'm going to put in here uh, ID G form 13 and background color light blue. How about that? background color light blue and then let's do like padding 20 px okay so we put a background color on the id g form 13 so the entire form we just put a background color and gave it a little padding all right the next section is the heading section so let's take g form heading which is a class and let's center it so Text align center. But here's the thing, and I want to stop here and move on to concept three. Concept three is to be specific. Now, if I put in my CSS, G, uh, G form heading, text align center, every form I have will align the G form heading class as center because I'm putting that, uh, because every form has a class of G form heading. So, what I want to do is I always want to back up and find the ID specific to that form, which is G form 13. So instead of putting this, uh, what I just put in there, a class of G form heading, I want to put in my ID of G form 13 to make it only for this form, to make the center, um, the title centered for this form only. So let me put that before it. And that's very important. So. Concept three is to be specific. So as I put here, you don't want to put G form body. You want to put ID G form 13 G form body class so that it applies only to this form. So let's go back and, and keep going. So I centered my heading. The next one up is uh, G form body. Okay, let's look at that section. So let's, let's uh, add the G form body class. And remember, I want to put my ID in front of it to make it specific for this form. And let's say uh, background color light gray. How about that? Let's make that light gray, and then let's put some padding on it. Padding of 20px. Doesn't look good, but we're going to roll with it. How about uh, some other light? Something that looks better. Uh, and there's nothing that looks better. <laughs> All right, let's just go with light slate gray, just to demonstrate. In padding, I want to make it a little more. Let's put 40. So as you see, that affects our entire body section. Now we can go to uh, the specific fields, open it up. You see our list items. I can say um, field 13, 1. <clears throat> I can say something. Uh, width 75% uh, or I don't know why I'd want to do that but uh, and you see the field is specific to the form 13 one so I don't have to put anything in front of it to make it specific so um, let's also do that for field 2 field uh, 13 2 alright so you can style your fields um, let's see what the next section is the next section is the G form footer so let, let's do this so um, I have a class of G form footer, but I don't want to just use that class because that will affect all my forms. Again, I want to put the ID G 
g form 13 before it. And let's just take that and center that. And then let's uh, make its width like 150 pixels. Whoops. Oh, that would be a button. So anyway, let's center the uh, submit button. And then let's open that up and let's go to the actual uh, button input. And we can target that. Um, it has a ID of GForm submit button 13. So I can take this and add a width of 150px. Maybe a little padding. Like how about 20? Okay, my whole point is that you can target these sections to style your form. So that's all. I just wanted to demonstrate that here. Hopefully that helped a little bit. Um, so just as a recap, you have your form, sec you have your entire form, you have your wrapper, then you have your form element, then you have your three sections, your heading, your body, and your footer, and then you can refer to the diagram for the other sections. So okay. So that's concept two and concept three. Concept four is one that got me for a while and I just wanna talk about this briefly and I'll be done. Uh, you have to look out for inline classes on your gravity forms form. So for example, uh, if you see right here, the form has an ID of G form 13. If I wanted to use that and for some reason use the class single column form two, I have to make sure there's no space between those two. So I would put here G, G form 13 in my class of single column oops, single column form. I don't know what we want to do with that. Let's, do that. Let's put more padding just to demonstrate. So uh, let's put more so I can make it clear to you. All right, there's 90 pixels of padding. So look at this. G form 13, and then we put our class right up against that because they are in the same line. So that's concept number four. If you have two uh, elements within the same code line, line of code, you have to put them together. If I separate them, it doesn't work. Look, boom. So that's just a side note. I thought that was important because for a while, especially if you depend on um, um, the browser here telling you how to target things, which I do a lot, it makes it easy. Like if I want to target this title and I click this new style rule, I'll see h3 dot gform title. If you wanted to just punch that in and you tried h3 space class gform title, it won't work. If the if the elements are in the same line as you see here, h3 class gform title, you have to put them together with no space between them in order to target that CSS. So anyway, that's a side note. I got more on that in the uh, post here, and um, hopefully that helped. And please go and download this diagram. Uh, I think it'll be helpful for you to understand the layout of, of the gravity forms and to um, use CSS on it effectively. So let me know if that helps. And if you have any questions, uh, ask me below. And as always, subscribe to the channel. More videos on the way. See ya.